What's up guys, Kyle the Drink Pro here. I am unfortunately feeling really under the weather. I'm gonna get a COVID test, hopefully that's not what it is, but we'll see. In the meantime, I've got a couple of buddies who helped me film a review earlier in 2020 that I'm gonna to show to you now. This is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye Review. Also, if you've got the Pappy Van Winkle 23 and you're willing to send me an ounce of it, please hit me up because I'm wanting to do a lineup of all of the Van Winkle products and that's the only one I'm missing. So please hit me up, reach out to me and let's make it happen. Cheers guys. Hi, I'm the Drink Pro today. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Take two. What's up everybody, Drink Pro here, Kyle. Back at it again. You know I've got Trevor, you know I've got Nate, you know how we do it. We are drinking some Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye. This is a relatively new release, but it's going to become a part of the standard lineup of Wild Turkey products. I'm really glad that they did this actually, because the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Bourbon is honestly one of the best values in bourbon. It's about $40, 30 to $40, depending on where you shop, and it is just hard to beat. Thank you, Nate, for pouring out these wonderful pours. Now, a little bit of history about the Rare Breed Rye, I don't have any. <laughs> so, <laughs> I picked it up today. That's the history. So, Rare Breed Rye has not actually hit in the area. Jeez. God damn it. <laughs> they don't touch the table. <laughs> it's not, not even a table. It's a board. So, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed Rye has actually not hit everywhere. It's only being released in certain spots right now. It's going to be nationally released, I believe, but at the moment, it's hard to get your hands on. Thankfully, Nate and Trevor are both from Ohio. Nate was generous enough to pick it up on his way here to Indiana. So I haven't seen it in Indiana. I know it's just, just hit. But thankfully, Nate was able to bring a couple bottles for us to try. I'm really looking forward to this, guys, because I love, I love the wild turkey bourbon so much. So I'm really, you know, my hopes are very high. My expectations are very high for the wild turkey rare breed rye. Um, let's go ahead and nose this, guys. You gotta swirl it. I believe. Gotta swirl it. Gotta swirl it. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this is 51% rye. See, I smell a lot of rye on it. I do too, but I, I don't think it's a foolproof rye. I mean, from the nose, my guess is this is not 100% rye. This has no. got to be lower mash bill rye. I, you know, 51 might be a little low. I don't know exactly what the numbers are. Uh, you know, I'll probably put it below in the bottom fourth of the screen, but. No, on this one, I might get a little dill on the nose. Yeah, yep. that's, a, that's a very prominent yep. note I get from rye. I get dill and I get caramel. Like yep. those are those are two very prominent, and I get it from this as well. Smells good. Floral. I mean, I'm having trouble getting past the grain. The rye is really prominent for me right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Now the proof on this. Let me double check. This is a hundred. Okay. To the top. This is 112.2 proof. So, you know, in the world of barrel proofs, it's not particularly high. It's not 120 plus. The regular rare breed actually varies based on the batch. The most recent batch was 116.8. Okay. Um, so this is a little bit lower than that. It's really a nice nose, though. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's overly complex. No, it's so the thing I really find interesting about this nose is I'm getting uh, not a lot of notes. It's very rye forward. It's got this sweetness. It's maybe caramel and then rye grain. I still, I mean, I but get it's so floral. beautiful. It's I so get, beautiful. I get, I, I get floral. I get a ginger. It's a pickled ginger. We didn't have a conversation about pickled ginger after this, buddy. I drink. I eat ginger? a lot of ginger. So do I. Pickled ginger. You wrong. No, it's sour. It's spicy. It's it's mm. th that's that's this note. If I put a pickled ginger in front of you, here it is. Mm, maybe I don't get pickled ginger out of this, but palates and noses vary. He's wrong. I'm the drink bro. <laughs> Fair. I want to taste this. Let's get real one here. I, I do like the fact, I will say this, that Trevor is always the one going, no, shut the fuck up, let's taste let's this whiskey. Let's go. I'm I appreciate that. I can only smell it Cheers, for so long. Man. Cheers. <laughs> God. Whoa. Mmm. Caramel. Wow. Boy, if you like the flavor of rye grain, this is right in your wheelhouse. This has all of the Jesus. notes of a rye grain whiskey. You know, I'm not a big rye person, but when I drink rye, I tend to get this overwhelming grain note that is sharp and unpleasant and just takes over my palate. This has a really clear, prominent grain flavor. The rye is unmistakable, mm -hmm. but it's not overpowering. It's not astringent. It's not sharp. It is a beautiful presentation of that rye grain flavor. It's sweet, it's grainy, 
it's just doing what it's trying to do very, very well. We've talked about this with wild turkey before. What you smell is what you get when you palate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so yes, I get well. the rye, but I still get that like caramel, buttery, yes, smooth, like just, I don't know if creamy is the right word, but that like oily mouthfeel. Yeah. It, it's, it's really nice. The finish, really enjoy the finish. Mm -hmm. Boy, that, it lingers. Yep. That rye finish. But it's not overpoweringly rye. It offers, no. an, it offers enough sweetness to cut that. It offers mm -hmm. enough other things going on. That makes this a really, really nice. Do you know what this ride. would be fantastic in? An old fashioned. This would be amazing in an old fashioned. Yeah, I think this would be a fantastic old fashioned uh, whiskey. It this gives is you, really it gives else. you the spice <clears throat> of the rye to cut through the the like the sweetness of the cherry and the bitters. Yeah, but it still gives you that like caramely nuance. Yeah, and buttery nuance to kind of to add to the profile. Yeah, this is a really fantastic rye. And I think so in Ohio where I got this, it was I think. 60 bucks or something like that not not too bad price wise um so i wouldn't feel bad about mixing it no i, I wouldn't could, either i think it would make a really good old-fashioned yeah this would make a mean cocktail if you like if you like rye whiskey you've mm -hmm. got to try this if you like wild turkey you've got to try this i will say the wild turkey 101 reminds me of this but this is like amped up this is wild turkey 101 turned up to 11. yeah um i'd be really curious to hear what people who tend to like wild turkey 101 and that's sort of their daily drinker. How they feel about the 101 rye compared to the rare breed rye. Because to me, this has all of those notes amped up really loud and made into this beautiful, complex presentation. Are you are you a rye fan typically? Mm, not really. I have not. So I'm not a rye fan typically. I, I mean, I like it, but it's not my go-to. And you're not either. Right. So I'd be really interested to know what someone, if a rye is really your cup of tea, if this is, if you love this or if this isn't enough. My, my guess, and somebody needs to correct us on this mm -hmm. because none of us are particularly rye aficionados, mm -hmm. but no. to me, this is really mm -hmm. prototypical rye flavor and that may present as boring to somebody who loves rye. If you are just seeking out that rye spice, you're going to get this and you're going to be like, this is too one noted. This doesn't have enough complexity. But for somebody who doesn't love the rye flavor, they're coming into this going, oh, this has the rye flavor without being overpowering. So... Maybe this is a good introductory rye if you like barrel proof already. Maybe this is a good middle of the road rye that a rye aficionado and a rye novice can both enjoy. Mm -hmm. Hard to say because none of us are particularly rye fans. If memory serves, I prefer this to the Cornerstone. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I will say, I think this is up there with the Cornerstone rye. Now, Corners the Cornerstone rye is more gentle. Yes, it's more of an introductory one. Rye. Yeah. For, yes. for what we thought when we did our Absolutely. review. Yeah. I would say in terms of the Wild Turkey Rye lineup, if you want the introductory, ironically, the introductory is the most expensive. The Cornerstone <laughs> Rye. A good rye. Yeah. The Cornerstone Rye is fantastic as an introduction to the rye world. If you like rye, I think it's worth checking out the 101 and definitely this rare breed. Mm. But the Cornerstone is really for people who are more in the bourbon world who want to explore rye. Yeah. This is not dipping a toe in rye. This is, hey, we've got rye and you're going to taste it. But it's not going to be too sharp. It's not going to be too overpowered. Okay. Rye stuff that mm -hmm. I've had that I like, I've had the uh, Thomas H. Handy 2019, which is, that's 100% rye. So it's kind mm -hmm. of an unfair comparison. Right. Yeah. I would say for people that, like me, that maybe aren't into the rye world as much, this is this is great because you it's not just punch in the face rye. Right. 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 I agree with that. Right. Yep. So it's it's got, I love the sweetness of this. I love the the caramely, the um, the honey or whatever you want to portray it as. I, I really enjoy that out of this bottle. I didn't know what to expect. I just figured it'd be good because Wild Turkey, we've done a number of samples now. It's crazy how good their stuff is. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, have crazy. either of you had Elijah Craig Rye that's came out? No. No, I have not either. I just wondered. Yep. If any of you have a sample, send <laughs> it to him. Hit me up. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to sign off. Keep drinking like professionals. Enjoy yourselves. And hit me up if you got some of that Elijah Craig rye. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. This is, this is, I really like this. Yeah, bottle. that's really good. It is. <laughs>